Well, to be honest, um, the first thing I thought about was, wow. That's Mamadou Fall's reaction to news that he and other international students would have to leave the country if college classes were fully online this fall. A week later, the Trump administration directive was taken off the table. He was relieved. It meant that I had a choice whether I wanted to stay or I wanted to leave, right? It's always good to have a choice. Still, he's concerned. We bring a lot into this country and we get to be thrown out at the first occasion. Nuno Clausing is also worried about what could happen down the road. I'm still kind of like worrying, of course, if there's got to be another like similar ban. Where are you right now? Uh, so right now I'm in the Netherlands. I'm uh, really relieved uh, to just like be able to come back to the U.S. and finish my last year. Clausing and Fall are fortunate to be able to continue their studies at PSU this fall. But the same may not be true for new students. If a school is only offering online courses, newly admitted international students will not be allowed to come to the United States to start their new program of study. At PSU, about 600 new international students were accepted this fall. And if they can't or don't come... And so that's, that's a huge loss for our university. Could that be a pretty hefty financial hit for PSU and other colleges? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Christina Luther, who deals with international students at PSU, worries some will go study elsewhere. As I don't think that we are sending a particularly welcoming message with all of these travel bans and, and, and guidances that throw the word deportation around really easily. I mean, who, who wants to go somewhere where they're being threatened with deportation? It's just not terrifically welcoming. And it does make me think about, you know, waiting my options and, um, Maybe going somewhere else where I will be more accepted. Acceptance is something he says he wasn't expecting to be an issue when he first came from Senegal. I'm always reminded that um, I don't belong. But for now, he says he's grateful he can stay and keep studying at PSU. If I work hard and um, try my best to do what is in my, um, in my control, maybe um, one day I will, I will belong. Christine Perwanich, KGW News.